Hi everyone, this is Tracy from Website Wiz. We got a recent question on one of our week's blog videos um, asking if it's possible to create a banner with a clickable button inside of the blog post page. Um, so I'm just going to show you guys how to do that here in this video. So from the Wix editor for your website, you want to go up to the top left hand corner where it says page and choose the post page. Okay, so this is a post. Um, this is the page where you basically can control the design elements of your blog posts and how they'll look, what you want to appear on the page, etc. Um, so here, in order to add a banner, I actually need to add a new section above the existing one. And I'm just going to go with a basic section. So click on there and then drag that into the top part of the page. So now I have the new section. What I would like to do is add a strip on that section. So you go over to the left hand side menu and then click on add elements. And then you have strip and you can choose from different options. I'm just going to go with a simple off white strip. And I'm just going to pull that by hovering over it. I can pull it up so that it aligns with the header. And I think it's also a little bit too um, too big so I'm going to just pull this up a bit make it a bit skinnier and so that's the strip within the section so I've now resized the strip but I also need to resize the section so if I click on the section and then pull on this toggle I can drag that up and what happens is it also drags the rest of the content with it which is handy okay so that looks good and now I need to add some text so I go back to add elements and then go to text and I'll just use this paragraph text and by dragging it onto the strip um, it's now part of that strip I'm just going to drag this out so that I can um, use those lines as reference points to then center my text and I'll write some text And I want to bring this up, the, just the text part. So I've got to hover over the text and then you'll see all the options for text come up. And then I'll use the little um, arrow icon to just move that up a little bit. And then that looks good. Okay. Now I would like to add a button. So I can also go back to add elements and then button. And you've got a lot of pre-designed buttons that you can choose from here. So I'm just going to drag this one in and I'm going to attach it to the strip. But actually it looks like it doesn't fit very well. So I do need to resize this again, bring it back down. So I'll do this section, drag it down a little bit and then also click on the strip within the section and just drag that down a bit as well and remove that section back up. That looks good. And I want to adjust where these are. So I'm going to keep my button centered. Same with my text. Okay. And then to edit the text of the button, you can click here on the button and then choose change text. And then you'll want to choose a link. So you want it to go somewhere when the person clicks on it. So we can choose, I'll choose home. But then you can also add, enter a web address or other options that um, are listed here. But for simplicity's sake, I'll just choose home. All right. And then I close this box and there you have it. That's your banner with some text and a button on the blog post page on your Wix website. So next I would publish. And then I'm going to show you what it looks like on the live site. So this is taking me to the home page scroll down I've got a blog post here so I'm just going to click on that and then you can see there's the banner and the call to action at the top of the blog post and you can change the colors of the the buttons and of the background and of the text um, for example if you want to change the background color um, you would then click on the strip itself and it gives you this option to change the background. So you can choose a color, an image, or a video. So if I want to make it blue, 
it's maybe not so nice, but it just gives you that freedom to choose the design you want. I hope this was helpful. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.